Hi, so today we're going to use Lunchbox and Custom Preview in order to have this movable um, grid size thing that will be that has an attractor point that we're also going to look at as well. So the thing that we're going to do is basically we're having a grid and this grid is subdivided using the lunchbox tool which makes things a little bit easier randomly more or less and on those po there are certain points on the grids um, well, like those areas here and they will be extruded depending on a point that is basically in point which is here and you basically have a distance to this point every grid point and this distance is measured and um, and uh, has different evaluation and depend on this ev evaluation we will have a different extrusion uh, on those points or like grid panels so um, what we're going to do is basically first we will start with a simple rectangle and we are using two sliders to make it a little bigger and we are making a um, using here on the lunchbox panels the um, random quad panel um, tool and what we need to do is just like slide it in there and here we have our random quad panels then we use some sliders again in order to adjust um, the U and V division of it. So we have a different, um, yeah, a different amounts or different um, division of this surface. So the next thing we're going to do is we um, create the distance between the two points of this one and this one. So we take the middle point of every of those quad panels here and we're using a point that we create by ourselves here and we just put it here maybe and um, we're going to measure distance between those two um, points of this one here and this one we just created which is over here and it shows us uh, if you look at this one it shows us the all the different distances that we have in this case and then it moves to it. And what we're going to do is that we're going to extrude um, the base of each of those panel grids um, to direction Z dependent on the distance. Very simple math, right? So here we already have it. And in order to make it more interesting, we're also going to apply a color to it as well. So we're going to use, uh, no, first of all, we're going to use those numbers here. We're going to create a range between one and zero. And this range will be our numbers that will be basically reparameterized in order to have a gradient that will uh, be useful for um, to make it like a little bit very like colorful and everything. So we have our our um, remote numbers module and we are going to uh, use the values of the distance. And as we see now, because like this target is always from zero to one and here it's good to have to zero to one. Um, targets are now numbers between zeros and one it will not it will not number one will be the biggest number and number zero as well if there is one here somewhere well yeah well, whatever and uh we're going to use those numbers in order to have each of those um boxes fit one of those colors of this gradient and in order to see those we need the um tool custom preview so we're going to put the parameter in here and the geometry that we already have 
and now we have a very nice colorful um, yeah block amount so, so we should like change this around here there you see it changes as well if you want to have maybe like a different um, heights we can al always can uh, well put a multiplier in there that basically softens or um, make the make it more extreme so here we're using a the multiplier for this we put those back in here and if we in increase or decrease the um, the extrusion will be less severe or more severe um, as well as there is an option in the gradient panel to use there are different presets for example like a more rainbow color vibe or a more muted black and white look and as well you can also change the values yourself in order to have it for your own liking and also put new cars in there as well and change the color as well to have maybe there's some highlights and everything so yeah i hope um, this is very useful for you and you can play around with it it's always good for having like certain models to look the same um, in the third lesson we'll also talk about how to export those colors that we have here uh, with the plugin human which basically takes those different colors that we have here and it will actually bake it into the Rhino geometry in a very easy way. Hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy your day.